Hi there Titans, my name is Paige and today I'm going to be doing a special video to show you how you can calculate your net promoter score using a Titan email survey. And I just learned about this net promoter score. It is a way to analyze results of a survey that um, is a 10 point question. So the end user will rate their experience from zero to 10 and those who answer zero to six will be a detractor. Those who are nine or 10 are promoters. And then seven and eight are a passive response. And then to calculate your score, you will uh, subtract the detractors from the promoters. And that is in a percentage and it will give you a percentage as well. And you can use that to analyze your, the opinions of your customers and clients. So let's jump in. What I'm going to do is send out this one question survey to all of my uh, clients or contacts that are on this list view. So of course, if there's thousands of contacts on this list view, I can send them to thousands, but I only have four. So um, that's what I'm going to work with today. And I've already set this up. You can see I have my 10 point rating scale here and I'm going to go ahead and publish it. So. I'm going to choose new and because I want to send it to everybody in my list view, this is very, very easy. It's going to be huge when you see this. So list view next, it's going to ask which object in Salesforce is this list under? So I'm choosing contact because it's the contacts list. And then it's asking me what list view. So this list view is called survey recipient contacts. And I'm just going to find that one. Um, survey recipient contacts. Perfect. Now it's asking me to choose their record ID and this is so that we can match their answers. So their contact ID and then their email. That's all I had to do. Very, very simple. Now I get to say, who would I like to, oh, if I would like to test the, the um, email, I could do that. So you can type in the record ID, like a just paste one in there, enter their email address, and you can see the test email. I've already tested it, it looks great, and I'll show you guys that in just a second. All right, now we can send the survey results to somebody if you'd like. So I'm going to just send it to myself. And you can add a comment if you'd like. Then you can choose to schedule it to be sent out maybe at the end of an event or something, or you can just send it now. So that's what I'm gonna do. Click send, oh, comment is mandatory. Um, let's call it webinar survey email. Okay, click to send, it's being sent. All right, so now let's go into our Salesforce environment and I'm just gonna show you really quick what I did to calculate the net promoter score. So let's jump over to our survey environment or application, Titan survey. And here we can see the surveys that I have sent out. I think it's this one here. Survey distributions, yes. So this is the distribution that I just sent. And we can go to related and we see that all four of these surveys that were sent out have not been opened yet. Um, so I'm gonna pause the video. I'm gonna have everybody <laughs> respond to the survey so that we can see the um, responses and I can show you how I am calculating the net promoter score. And I'm sorry that I, I spelled it, I, that was not the right thing. It's called net promoter score. Okay, so this is what the email looks like when the end user receives their survey email. And I did not really configure mine to be very pretty, and that's why we have this like description text optional here. But anyways, let's just rate it a 10. And this takes us to the um, thank you message, which I also did not configure, and that's why it looks like this. But let's go back to our survey in um, Titan survey in Salesforce and we can see that we have um, a few responses now. So 
I'm going to go to my distribution that I sent out and then I'm able to see that I have four people who have completed this survey and let me just show you the field that I added to this. We have something called under the survey question responses. We see I'm created this called net promoter score identity where and there is a formula field where if the response was 9 or 10, then it will equal promoter. If it's 7 or 8, then it will equal passive. And if it's anything below 7, then they are identified as the demoter. And that will help my reports. So I created this report over here, Net Promoter Score Analysis. And all I did was group them by detractor and promoter. And then we can add a simple chart to get the percentages. You can also do a formula field, although I'm not the best at that. So I did this instead. <laughs> um, and I did show values and percentages on this pie, pie chart. And that is where I can see the percentages of detractors. Sorry, I was saying demoters. Detractors. Um, and I'll actually um, subtract this number from this number. So let's quickly just do, I'm going to do this on my phone real quick and you can check me if you want. So 83.33 minus 16.67 equals 66.66% and so that will be my net promoter score and honestly I think that's pretty good. Let's just, let's look at this. Net promoter score survey. You can see I've done a little bit of research on this. And then when I go to my images, um, I think that it talked about like what's a good one somewhere in here. Let me find it. Okay, so at 100%, I think 70 to 100 is good. I did, did 66, so it looks like that was pretty good because I have, I fell into the, the great range at 66.66. And then it looks like if you are in the negative, that means you need to improvement and you're having more people who are scoring zero to six than people who are scoring nine and 10. Um, so this is a really interesting way to analyze your survey results and utilize Titan email surveys. So if you made it this far, thank you for watching. And I hope that this video helps to analyze your results at your organization. Bye.